and welcome to Northwest Adventure Rentals. After watching this short video, you should have a good understanding of how to operate the refrigerator in the RV you're about to rent from us. Would you believe that your RV uses heat to cool the refrigerator? How does that work? Well, the refrigerator in your RV is not like the refrigerator in your house. Instead, it uses a closed loop system involving a small tank of ammonia. The ammonia is heated either by a small propane flame or by a 110 volt electrical heating element, causing it to evaporate, travel up through a series of small tubes where it condenses. As it evaporates, it removes the heat from inside the fridge, cooling the fridge and freezer. So yes, your RV actually uses heat to cool the fridge. As mentioned earlier, your refrigerator can operate on either propane or 110 volt electrical current. To turn it on, locate the control panel on the front that looks like this. The switch in the middle has three positions. AU, which stands for automatic, AC, which is the electrical alternating current, and LP, which is the propane gas. When the fridge senses a 110 volt source, it'll use electricity. When that source is removed, the fridge will automatically switch to propane. So while you're driving down the road, it'll operate on propane, and when you arrive at your campsite and plug into 110 volt power, the fridge will automatically switch to electricity. If for any reason you need to reduce the load on your electrical supply, you can move this switch to the gas position, in which case it'll not use electricity even when the RV is plugged in. This might be handy if you're unable to access a 30 amp outlet or if the campsite's electrical system is overloaded with RVs. The switch controls how cold the refrigerator gets. We recommend starting in the middle and then adjusting as necessary so you don't accidentally freeze the food in your refrigerator. Perhaps the most important thing to remember is that your refrigerator must be level when it's on. Driving down the road with the fridge on will not cause a malfunction, but if you park it for more than 5 or 10 minutes with the fridge on and out of level, it can cause the refrigerator to stop working and you'll find warm food at your destination. To prevent this, make sure you're always level when you park. If you must park where it's not level, then be sure to turn the refrigerator off until you're either driving again or you're able to level the RV. Another thing to keep in mind is that if the propane valve in your RV is turned off or if you run out of propane, the fridge will not be able to operate on propane. See the propane systems video for more information on the propane system in your RV. Now you know how the refrigerator works and how to avoid refrigerator problems by keeping the RV level when you're not driving. Be sure to watch all the videos in the list for your rental unit, and we'll look forward to sending you out on your next adventure. See you soon. Have more questions? We're here for you. Give us a call at 1-855-745-9816.